Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at a tool called Screaming Frog SEO Spider uh, to help us in our screen scraping, web scraping projects. Now, as the name suggests, Screaming Frog uh, is basically a tool used by SEO experts. Uh, however, I've been using it more recently in uh, several of uh, my web scraping projects. Uh, and I thought it would be a good idea to showcase uh, how the tool could be used for certain activities within uh, the web scraping slash custom spider development workflow process. Uh, so to get the tool, go to screamingfrog.co.uk, click on SEO Spider and uh, download uh, the required uh, operating system based version. Once you've installed it, uh, it's uh, basically a 5 minute uh, or under 10 minute installation uh, and this is what it should look like. Um, of course it's built uh, using Java so please make sure that you have Java running uh, in, in advance of uh, installing uh, this particular tool. Now the tool basically is a spider um, so it basically does uh, some of the crawling for you uh, so I, I'll just use maybe two examples or two instances uh, how this tool can be of assistance uh, when you're building custom uh, web scraping slash your own custom crawler projects. So let's take two examples uh, so let's just say for example you're building a project using say Python Beautiful Soup for example to do some uh, passing of web pages or the other option could be if you are building your own crawler say for example uh, if you wanted to use something like Scrappy for example a Python based framework for building your own web crawlers uh, so how could this tool be used so let's just take one at a time so let's just say for example this is some kind of like a pseudo um, or semi um, you know big code if you will uh, if, if you're using beautiful soup so a simple example here so you'll want to open a URL read the content and then feed that into uh, beautiful soup so now beautiful soup itself isn't a crawler uh, but you could build um, uh, you know a lot of plumbing to support that crawling uh, however using screaming frog we could um, possibly pass um, uh, a list of a CSV file for example that has a predefined list of crawl URLs uh, so that's one example or the other instance could be if you are building uh, say your own custom uh, crawler uh, using um, one of the many frameworks um, like I, I, I mentioned around using something like Scrappy. Uh, using Screaming Frog can give you a quick sense of the lay of the land. Uh, in advance of you building the spider so it can help you uh, plan for your spider as well as help you validate if your spider is working correctly. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, beautiful, I'm sorry, at uh, Screaming Frog uh, in action. So um, we're going to uh, test it against um, this URL here, demos.org. So if you go to the tool here um, and click on start, uh, keep in mind that uh, if you're downloading the free version, there's also a paid for version, but if you are downloading the free version, it restricts you to 500 URIs. Uh, but for the purpose of what we are trying to achieve today, that should suffice. Uh, of course, when you're trying to um, crawl much larger websites, uh, you may want to consider the paid for version. Um, however, again, uh, the free version gives you quite a lot of capabilities. Uh, one of the nice things about the tool is it's uh, really fast as you can see it's um, crawling about uh, 10 URIs give or take on average uh, so it's really quite a fast um, crawler uh, so we are almost up to um, the max limit uh, so while that's uh, processing we can get some quick stats here you can see the total URIs crawled um, there are other site statistics it provides you this again is helpful if uh, you're trying to build your own spider uh, just to get a sense of what um, the URI schemes are, uh, what are the domains, subdomains, internal as well as uh, external uh, URLs that uh, this particular website is uh, pointing to. So it helps you plan uh, when you're building your web spider, um, the kind of um, protocols, the kind of uh, content types that is returned. Uh, and also I found that this um, tool does a neat job of uh, crawling even sites that do Ajax so it does a decent job so again running it through these and looking at the tabs is uh, definitely going to help you uh, so uh, great so while we were talking um, the tools basically 
um, crawl through all the 500 URIs. Uh, the next thing what we can do then is now that we have this list, um, uh, as you can see here, just um, pull in the address, the content type, uh, the title of the page, and various other um, attributes and metadata around this page. Uh, so then, uh, for example, um, going back to the case, if we were using something like Beautiful Soup, um, you could um, export this as a CSV file here. Um, so once you have that as a CSV file, uh, we need to, uh, the one thing to keep in mind is uh, the tool adds an extra line. So you can see here um, that it adds um, row number one is something that you want to remove. So depending on the tool that you're using, uh, you could either change it to fetch from row number two or the, um, uh, the other option is to open it uh, as its default and uh, manually delete the first row. So as you can see here, it's, um, it's just got uh, for the first cell a value and all the other cells in uh, the row one is empty. So let's just uh, delete that. All right, so now this is your standard uh, CSV format. So uh, now that it's in CSV, you can uh, apply, so, uh, say for example, filters here directly so that you can pull the filtered list into, uh, say, Beautiful Soup, for example. So let's just say, uh, for instance, uh, you were only interested in uh, either the site URLs which um, has signs in it. Oops, if I can spell. Yep. Um, say for example science and uh, say for example if you are interested in uh, filtering out either by the URI or even by say for example uh, the title psychology for example so now it's given you a much uh, more simpler way to uh, work with the URI so now given that this is a CSV file you can export that and then bring it into um, uh, your Python code so for example this uh, open this URI from a list of CSVs uh, I'm sorry uh, f uh, a list of URIs in a CSV file uh, so that was uh, really a quick video to showcase how you can use this tool. Uh, again, this is a great tool if you want to validate uh, how your crawler is performing. And uh, given that the tool already takes care of um, you know, um, uh, how it needs to um, look into the robot.txt files and various other compatibility and uh, best practices, it's a good place to start for your web crawling ex uh, type of projects. Alright, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, see you on the next video.